Hello, my name is Donna Coxon. I'm a solution architect with Fullscope and today I'm going to give you a high level overview of project service automation for Microsoft Dynamics 365. So project service automation is an end-to-end -end solution developed on Microsoft Dynamics 365 which gives functionality from quote to delivery to invoice. It's a broad and deep solution that provides a single system for customer engagement across all project related functions. And it's aimed at providing an integrated customer experience for organizations that deliver customer facing, revenue focused, project based services. It includes functionality around planning, estimating and pricing projects, optimizing resource utilization, tracking and approving project tasks and finances, and monitoring performance metrics. It gives organizations the ability to enable on-time, on-budget project delivery, whilst at the same time improving project efficiencies, collaboration, and profitability. So let's take a look at the PSA functionality from the perspective of different users. As a salesperson, it's important that I can see any ongoing projects for my customers. So now I have a project subgrid available on my account form where I can see the project that's happening for the customer, the overall project status and any other information that I want to see about that particular project. When I'm working on an opportunity for a services deal, I can now have the ability to select the contracting unit. So which is the team of users that I think will be responsible for delivering the project. I can select the project price list. So what pricing will be used to quote for the project. And then within the opportunity form, I can now associate a project based line where I can choose my billing method, whether it's time and materials, fixed price, what the customer's budget is and a description of what those services are. When I create a quote, that information will be pulled through into the quotation and I can then start working with my delivery team to get accurate pricing on that quotation to ensure that we're quoting accurate project pricing against that particular deal. The chargeability view within the quote line allows me to see what my standard pricing is for any given resource type together with the actual price that I want to quote on this particular opportunity for those given resources, together with the cost price and the profit margin. So here I'm able to go and edit my sales pricing to manipulate the pricing to achieve the margins that I need to achieve on this particular project. So working in conjunction with the project manager, I can associate my project to my sales quotation. I can pull through all of my pricing for this particular deal based on accurate information provided from the project delivery team. I can also create an invoice schedule defining exactly when and how I will invoice this particular project. Once the quotation has been won and marked as won, the system will automatically create a project order and it's against this project order that all of the invoicing will happen and we can also start to track the contract performance. As a project manager, I have the ability to create projects based on project templates or from scratch. And I have the ability to build out my work breakdown structure, which details all of the tasks that are required as part of this project, the effort required to deliver those tasks, my start and end dates, my durations, and also the roles that I need to deliver those pieces of work. As project manager, I have the ability to look at all of my project estimates. So I can look at the estimates for each of the different tasks and I can look at that in terms of sales pricing, cost pricing and the effort required. I can look at my project team members that will be delivering the work and as those team members start delivering the work I can track the progress, the hours that have been delivered versus the effort estimate and also any schedule variances as well. And finally, as a project manager, it's important that I can see a global view of all of the projects I'm managing. So I can use the dashboard capability to do things like tracking projects by overall project status, by which stage of the process they're in, by their go, no go status, by their cost consumption, and also by timeline. As a resource manager using the PSA functionality within Dynamics 365, 
I have the ability to see my dashboard to see how many outstanding resource requests I have and what my resource demand is. I can also see utilisation of resources by role. If I want to schedule one of my resources, I can go and look at my active resource requests, select one of them and go and find matching resources. The system will then propose any resources that match my requirement in order of closest match. Once I'm happy to choose one of those resources, I can select them and book them against that project. And at any point, I can go into my schedule board functionality and see all of the bookings for my current resources. And then finally, as a resource manager, I can use the resource utilization area to track whether my resources are meeting their target utilization or not. As an actual resource working on a project, I can take advantage of the Office 365 Groups integration to collaborate with my team members. So this is really great if you have remote resources because they can use the central Office 365 group to have access to a shared calendar, to have conversations about any given project, to have shared notebooks and to share documents that relate to a specific project. Resources can access all of their bookings and tasks so here I can see all of my bookings for the week. I can open the booking, I can see the information about that booking and I can update that with the status, with any notes. I can put in how much work I've actually completed on this booking and also indicate how much is left to complete. Within PSA, as a resource, I have the ability to submit time and expense entries and I can also do this on the CRM mobile app as well. So the final thing I wanted to quickly show you as part of this Whistle Stop tour was some of the Power BI reporting capability. So with Power BI, there is a pre-built solution template for Dynamics 365 Project Services Automation. Um, and what you're able to do with that is see a number of predefined metrics that allow you to track things like your margins, your costs, your project services pipeline, your backlog. So all of these metrics are provided in that PSA solution template. So with that, I'd like to wrap up. Thank you for watching this high level overview of project services automation for Dynamics 365. If you do have any other questions or would like any more information, please don't hesitate to reach out to your account director. They would be more than delighted to help you on your CRM journey. Thank you.